In the depths of Switzerland, where the boundaries of science and speculation converge, a shadow looms over the world's most enigmatic research facility. This is CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, home to the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments used to study the fundamental particles of the universe. Yet as we stand on the precipice of a rare solar eclipse set to take place on April 8, 2024, an undercurrent of conspiracy theories has begun to stir. In the clandestine corners of the internet, a compelling narrative unfolds, suggesting that CERN's work is not merely confined to the realm of particle physics. Whispers of a darker purpose echo through the digital ether, hinting at experiments that brush against the fabric of reality itself, potentially wielding the power to reshape our very existence. As we delve deeper into this intricate web of speculation, we encounter a chorus of voices, each offering a unique perspective on the enigma that is CERN. From whistleblowers, shrouded in secrecy, who claim first-hand knowledge of the organization's true intentions, to conspiracy theorists, who believe that the upcoming eclipse may be more than just a celestial spectacle, but a harbinger of cataclysmic change. Experts, too, join this symphony of speculation, voicing concerns over the potential risks associated with CERN's experiments. They question whether humanity is ready to face the consequences of meddling with forces that, until now, have remained dormant in the depths of the universe. As we stand on the threshold of this impending cosmic event, we can't help but ponder the implications of these theories. Is there a cryptic connection between the work being done at CERN and the approaching eclipse? Are we on the brink of a revelation that could shatter our understanding of the universe? Or are we merely chasing shadows in the dark? One thing is certain, what they're doing at CERN goes far beyond particle physics. They're delving into realms that should remain untouched. As the eclipse draws near, speculation mounts about its significance in the grand tapestry of existence. Some view it as a mere celestial phenomenon, a predictable dance of heavenly bodies that has been choreographed since the dawn of time. But others, they see something more. They see a sign, a symbol, a harbinger of cataclysmic change. Eclipses have long held a special place in human consciousness, from ancient civilizations who saw them as divine omens, to modern-day astronomers who use them to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Eclipses have always been more than just a spectacle. They are a cosmic mirror, reflecting our deepest fears and greatest hopes back at us. But what if there's more to this upcoming eclipse than meets the eye? What if it's not just another celestial event, but a key that unlocks a door to a realm we're not supposed to enter. A realm where the laws of physics are not just bent, but broken. A realm where reality itself is manipulated and distorted. Such is the realm of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Hidden deep beneath the Swiss countryside, CERN is home to the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Here, scientists are pushing the boundaries of human knowledge exploring the very fabric of the universe itself. But some believe they're playing with forces they don't fully understand. Could there be a connection between the upcoming eclipse and the experiments being conducted at CERN? Could the alignment of celestial bodies somehow influence or amplify the power of the particle accelerator? Or even more disturbingly, could the scientists at CERN be using the eclipse as a cover for a more sinister experiment? one that could have unforeseen, even catastrophic consequences. As we stand on the precipice of this cosmic event, we are left to ponder these questions. Are we witnessing a simple alignment of the sun, moon, and earth, or is there a deeper, darker truth hidden in the shadow of the eclipse? Throughout history, eclipses have been heralded as omens of transformation, but what if this eclipse holds a deeper, darker truth concealed from the eyes of the world? To unravel the mysteries of the eclipse, we must journey into the abyssal depths of CERN's sprawling underground complex, where experiments of unprecedented scale blur the lines between science and the supernatural. Here in the heart of Europe lies the world's largest particle physics laboratory, a nexus of knowledge where the brightest minds delve into the secrets of the universe. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is the crown jewel of this subterranean world, 
stretching over 17 miles in circumference and reaching depths of over 500 feet, the LHC is a testament to human ingenuity. It is here within this colossal machine that particles are accelerated to near light speeds, colliding with such force that they shatter into their most fundamental components. These high energy experiments have yielded groundbreaking discoveries, such as the elusive Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle. But what else lurks within these data streams? Could the LHC be a portal to unseen dimensions, a key to understanding the enigmatic dark matter, or even a tool to manipulate the very fabric of reality? The scale and implications of these experiments are staggering, with some theorists suggesting that CERN's activities could even influence cosmic events. As we delve deeper into this realm of quantum mechanics and particle physics, we encounter concepts that seem more akin to science fiction than reality. Yet, in the pursuit of knowledge, we push the boundaries of what is known, venturing into uncharted territories. Some fear that this relentless quest may unlock forces we cannot control, echoing the age-old adage, just because we can, does it mean we should? But perhaps it's not about should or shouldn't. Perhaps it's about the insatiable human curiosity, the relentless drive to explore, understand, and conquer the unknown. Within these subterranean chambers lies the crucible of human curiosity, where the boundaries of reality are pushed to their limits. Behind CERN's facade of scientific inquiry lies a labyrinth of secrecy, shielding its true intentions from prying eyes. As we delve deeper into the enigma that is CERN, we encounter walls of silence, barriers of obfuscation that seem to be built not just to protect, but to hide. Why, you may ask, would a scientific organization shroud itself in such secrecy? After all, isn't the pursuit of knowledge a shared endeavor, a collective journey towards understanding? But it seems, here in the heart of Europe, the rules of transparency and open discourse are held in abeyance. CERN's sprawling campus is a fortress of science guarded with an intensity that rivals that of any military installation. Its secure vaults hold not just cutting-edge technology, but also a treasure trove of confidential documents, the contents of which remain a mystery to the outside world. The veil of secrecy extends beyond the physical boundaries of the research center. Attempts to pry into the inner workings of CERN are met with resistance, with information either heavily redacted or simply not available. The organization's commitment to secrecy is so profound it almost seems as if they are guarding not just scientific secrets, but something far more unsettling. The reasons for this secrecy are as myriad as they are perplexing. Are they protecting their proprietary technology, or perhaps safeguarding the world from the potential dangers of their experiments? Or could it be that they are hiding something far more sinister, something that could shake the very foundations of our reality? As we grapple with these questions, we must also consider the possibility that CERN's veil of secrecy is not merely a protective measure, but a deliberate tactic, a way to control the narrative to keep the world in the dark about their true intentions. What dark truths lie buried within CERN's vaults, and why do they go to such lengths to conceal them from the world? As the eclipse looms, these questions grow ever more pressing. In our quest to unravel the mysteries of CERN, we must strive to penetrate this veil of secrecy, to uncover the hidden truths that lie beneath. Only then can we hope to understand the true nature of the impending eclipse and its connection to CERN's shadowy experiments. As the eclipse approaches, cryptic clues emerge, hinting at a sinister connection between CERN's experiments and the cosmic event. From the obscure symbols etched into the heart of CERN's subterranean complex, to the clandestine meetings held under the Shroud of Darkness, a pattern begins to form. The lines between astronomical phenomenon and scientific exploration blur, painting a chilling picture of cosmic collusion. Leaked footage sparks intrigue, showing anomalous activity within the Large Hadron Collider at the precise moments of previous eclipses. The synchronicity is uncanny, raising questions about the true nature of these celestial and scientific events. Is there a hidden message encoded within the dance of the sun and the moon, a message that CERN is attempting to decipher? As we delve deeper, the pieces of this cosmic puzzle begin to align. 
Is it mere coincidence or are we witnessing the machinations of forces beyond our comprehension? As our investigation reaches its zenith, one question looms large. What lies beyond the veil? We've delved into the enigmatic world of CERN, explored the cosmic spectacle of the eclipse, and straddled the fine line between science and speculation. We've unraveled a web of secrecy, cryptic clues, and unprecedented experiments. But the ultimate truth remains elusive. Do these threads of darkness weave a tapestry of enlightenment, or do they plunge us deeper into the abyss of ignorance? Is the upcoming eclipse a mere celestial event? Or does it signify a cosmic shift, a harbinger of transformation? Are the clandestine activities at CERN pushing the boundaries of human knowledge? Or are they meddling with forces that should remain untouched? We leave you with these thought-provoking questions. For the answers lie not only in the realm of the unknown, but also within our collective consciousness. Are we on the verge of enlightenment or hurtling towards the abyss of oblivion?